Well, they are built with pride so that you can roast coffee with passion. And after more than 35 years in business, Dietrich Roasters has built a reputation around the world for its top-of-the-line products. Derek Dice paid a visit to Ponderé, Idaho to revisit Dietrich in this week's edition of Made in the Northwest. For nearly four decades now, Dietrich Roasters has been dedicated to helping coffee roasters in the pursuit of the perfect roast. Our customer is anyone from the uh, entrepreneur who's opening his own coffee shop and wants to roast his own coffee beans to much larger companies who roast not only for themselves but for many other companies. With new ownership, the company has aggressive plans for growth and it sees most of that growth coming from overseas in countries with an increased appreciation for specialty coffee. Like in Eastern Europe, in the Baltic nations, in China, uh, even in Myanmar, in Thailand. Diedrich's 75 employees in Ponderé ship about 300 coffee roasting machines a year. The biggest can roast up to 2,000 pounds of coffee an hour with its infrared heaters. And since the beginning, Dietrich has always demanded its machines be built to the highest possible standard. There are only two or three companies who build a good, really good product. And we have a reputation worldwide of having built the best. Building a roaster can take anywhere from 8 to 14 weeks. In the machine shop, through welding, bending, and other processes, the highly skilled craftsmen that we have out there can take that and transform it into something like this. After the machines are powder coated, they go back into assembly. They'll add all of the electrical components. There are gas lines that go in there. There are burners that are inside it. And when manufacturing is complete, they actually roast coffee in them and test the beans right on site. We'll satisfy ourselves that it meets the requirements. Uh, we'll often add logos. Uh, we'll custom paint them. One aspect believed to be unique to Dietrich is that they're able to customize their roasters, not only in color, but in design as well. This one will be shipped to a company in Arizona. I would argue that almost every one of them is unique unto itself for one reason or another. Diedrich is now partnering with a company called Cool Energy, using a product to take the hot air its roasters create and convert it into electricity. Portland Roasting is already trying it. And they can generate up to 25 kilowatts of power. So it's very promising and uh, it's a development that we're very excited about. Diedrich is also excited about tripling in size over the last four years, which has led to the search for a new facility in the area. And hopefully be in it uh, early next year. So the company can continue helping in the pursuit of the perfect roast. For Maine the Northwest, I'm Derek Dice, KXOY 4 News.